Hi everyone, me again. Just a few techie things this time. So, for those of you on specific courses where you have to upload pictures of your poster and then even do a little video presentation uh, to record that and to upload it in YouTube, these are just the quick instructions for you. So, once you've created your poster, it's best to save it as a PowerPoint file. That means uh, that if you have to go back in and edit it at all at any time, you can do so straight into PowerPoint. Sometimes you may be asked to save it as a PDF. Okay, so there's a PDF creator over there. Or when you go to File, say Save As. And when you look on the, the menu here, you'd be able to choose um, PDF. Okay, so I would always save it as a PowerPoint first so that you can go back in in case you need to edit it, but then you might want to save it as a PDF. All right, so do that, and especially before sending to people. But for some of the courses, you're being asked to save this as a photo file, okay? Now that's gonna compress it down, and it makes it much easier to load up on Moodle rather than in PDF format. So there are quite a few different photos, but the one we're asking you to use is this one, JPEG, because that compresses the size down, um, especially when it's a class with loads of you, so it means that there won't be huge amount of files going on. So just save it as a JPEG file. That's all you need to do, okay? So you click on JPEG, press save, and it'll save it with the same name that you've given your PowerPoint, but it saves it as .jpg, okay? Simple as that. So the next thing you need to know is how to record this and save it in uh, uh, YouTube. So uh, the best thing to do, either get somebody with a camcorder or a handy cam or a phone. Most of you are going to be using phones, I bet. And especially if you're doing this in groups, then it may be good to ask a friend to do this for you. So get the friend to stand there with their phone just have to pick it up and video you. And as you're doing your presentation, maybe move that phone from each person. So maybe show an overall group of you or move in towards each individual as you're doing your own presentation. Okay, that's really good with groups um, because you, you all have to take it in turns to say your individual bits. So once you've made the video and saved it to your phone or mobile device, then you can either upload it directly from that if you've got internet access on there, or save it to a PC or laptop and then upload it to YouTube. Now, the important thing is someone has to have a free YouTube account. So when you go in uh, into YouTube, you can create an account and you do it all in that way, okay? That means you've got your account. And if you haven't got one individually, maybe a friend has, or maybe it's time that you signed up for one now. And when you sign into that, it means you're uploading to there. So just click this button that says create a video or post. So if you wanted to do a live video, you would do it there. What I'm doing is pre-recorded videos. So you click on upload video. Now, the important thing to do is click on the button here that says unlisted. If you set it to public, it means anyone around the world would be able to find your poster. Now, if you're happy with that, that's fine. If you don't want it, then you need to hide it. So don't make it private because it means only the person whose account is uploading this will be able to see it. What you do is you click unlisted and that means um, no matter what your theme is, supposing it's breastfeeding in midwifery, if someone around the world goes onto YouTube and types in breastfeeding in midwifery, your poster won't come up. It's unlisted. So using search terms to find it won't find it. So just click on that, okay? So choose unlisted and then select to upload your file. Now, if I just show you how to do that, um, Here's some I've made earlier. Right, that's it. So here's a file I've already put on one of my pages. So you just click to do that and it will upload it for you, okay? Once you've done that, it shows the file is on there and what you need to do then, you wait for it to process. Um, it'll show you little thumbnails and that's three pictures from throughout your video. Now, if you don't like those, if that's not what you want, you've also got the choice where it shows the three little thumbnails, you can choose your own. So you can upload, you can upload the JPEG, the, the, the picture of it, if that's what you want to do, okay? So just upload that and then click publish and your video is ready to use and what what you need to do for sharing then you click on that now if you just wanted to share this with your friends you can copy 
this URL here, and that's the specific URL for your video. So you could send that to your friends, and anyone that clicks on that link would be able to see it. But for your courses, what we're asking you to do is to grab the embed code. So if you click on that, and just say copy, and it's that whole code, including those little brackets at the start and the end. So send that on to your course um, leaders, and they'll be able to upload that directly into Moodle. So when they put the embed code in Moodle, you'll see a, a picture of it exactly like that. Okay, so it means you're not putting a link in, but they're actually embedding it within Moodle. That's all you need to do. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye bye.